Okay guys, so this is the new vehicle. Um, this is Josh's new car. <clears throat> it's kind of close, so I'm gonna walk around, <clears throat> get it from this side. <clears throat> we got it a couple of days ago, but because it's been raining so much, we, we didn't want to do the video yet because it was really bad weather. But now, um, since our city has flooded and there's been a break in the weather, the sun has come out now, we wanted to show you our 2006 Honda Element. Oh, <clears throat> thanks, Josh. Uh, with remote remote starter, which is kind of cool. We haven't actually had a really new vehicle in a while. Um, okay, so that's the front of the vehicle. That's my little baby in the back. That's my Civic. I don't know how well it's going to show everything, but that's the interior of the Element. Josh is good to go. The back, nice and spacious in the back, and the seats actually fold up. More of a rugged flooring, so, um, but he can put his tools down, and then when he's done. Away from the flood um, to the mall, to Cross Iron Mills. <clears throat> actually, we're going to be passing our house, our, um, the house that we're getting built. It's north of this, it's probably the most north of Calgary, right before you get out of Calgary. So we'll pass by there, and we'll go to... Um, to Balzac, to the mall. <clears throat> but yeah, we're in a new vehicle. Okay, so this is the lane that we're supposed to be, let me wind down the window. This is the lane that we're supposed to be driving and it's completely flooded. And this is our, oh my gosh, okay. Someone's coming to drive through it? Wow. <laughs> he does not care, he's driving through. So, are we going to go up there? Yeah, okay, I guess we're going to go up and uh, we wanted to see our house to see how our house is doing with, after, with all the Okay guys, so <laughs> um, Can we get it through there? This is probably, yeah So that's the foundation um, We live in, well we live in we are purchasing a townhouse, so there's lots of um, units there. I think there's supposed to be seven units. It's supposed to be the third one in. We're supposed to be the second one in, but we're number three. Oh. But um, yeah, so that's it. You can see right there that it's all pooled up with water. Right now, I'm, we're going to the superstore because when I went shopping, um, sometimes I don't look at my bill and they, they charge me higher than what the shelf price is. But last time I went shopping, I was like, no, I'm not having this. It scanned. I checked my bill right after I um, finished uh, checking out. Or actually, before I finished checking out, when it scanned, it scanned at uh, higher than the sh shelf price. So I was like, no, um, you guys need to honor this price. First, they're telling me, no, you, you have to pay this price because that's what it scanned up at. I'm like, no, um, we have a scanning code of practice, which means if it scans higher, then I get it for free. If it's under $10, if it's over $10, I get it $10 off. That's a, a practice that they have here in Canada. I don't know if, if it's everywhere, but yeah, so. For the major uh, grocery stores, they have it, though. So. Right. So I was like, um, no, you guys are going to honor this, like, this time, because you guys are always doing this. I never say anything. So I called the scanning code of practice line they call the district manager on the store and now they're going to give me a free product and they're going to give me a ten dollar gift card to to make me happy again and I'm, I'm happy i'm like you know what that's what it's what they need to do because it's ridiculous things are always scanning up wrong walmart especially is, is the worst for this notorious at least notorious for for things scanning up wrong and you're paying more than what the shelf says so this time i'm like you know what i'm not having it i'm not I'm not doing that. Here's like, my beef with the store, though, is that they're still trying to say, oh, we didn't mess up, we didn't screw up. Oh, no, that was the, like, they're still say, okay, regardless of if that is the wrong tag, it's in the wrong spot. Exactly. And you guys have a scanning code of practice to, like, rectify the situation where people don't have to be waiting for 20 minutes for someone to check the price and do all this crap. Like, first they were telling me, pay full price, pay full price. I'm like, no, get your manager. And then the manager comes and she's like, oh, well, we'll honor that price. I'm like, no, I should be getting it for free. She was like, no, you're not getting it for free. So that's why I called, I called a scan code of practice on them. And now 
Uh, I'm going to get my gift card and I'm going to get my free salmon fish right now. It's just stupid because it's like, okay, you messed up. Why are you still trying to say, and you're giving us this free fish and this free gift card. Why are you still trying to say that you didn't mess up? Like, yeah, you exactly. did, just own it. Like, you just make yourself, like, that's the part that upsets me the most about people. Like, they realize they messed up, they're actually going ahead and doing something for us, but yet they're still trying to say, oh, you know, but it was right. No, it wasn't. Well, then why, like, what, then we don't deserve the gift card and the salmon you're getting Exactly. Us. But anyways, we're going to get, uh, to get our stuff. Yeah.